Hello everybody. Welcome to a late night session. I'm on my XR Monk. I made a long journey looking for new places to hunt. I went to Lake of Ville Omen, Feriona Vi. I went to Frontier Mountains even. And to be honest, they all led back to here. The Giant Fort, because this place is just too good to give up. I've been here for a few minutes already and I got a hammer of flattening. Darn thing is heavy. But it's worth a good penny, so I'm going to hang on to it. I want to get this guy. Come here. Let's drag him away from the group. This place is just too good. These guys aren't... They're real simple to fight. They're just melee guys. They just bash you. They don't cast any spells. They don't do anything weird. They just stand and fight you toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So it's a really great place to fight. I'm fighting a green one right now, and I'm at 73% experience through this level. I'm so close to being level 30. I just have to finish this level here. I ran over to F Lakeville Omen, and I was going to fight Sarnax at the entrance to the fort. Honestly, they were just... Oh, well... I found some dragoons, but I looked them up on wiki and they're level 28. I can't fight level 28 warriors. I'm only level 29, so we came back here. I really enjoy this place. I tried as hard as I could to throw a little variety in here. So I'm not leveling the same location all the time. But EverQuest pushed me back here. Some camps are just better than others, and this is one of the best. Downtime is so minimal. Loot is great. The mobs are easy. You just can't go wrong coming here to fight. And if you're an Ixar and you're starting out in Kunark, especially if a solo self founder first character, you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you're skipping the, the giant fort. So, I probably came here a little late. That's because I didn't know my way around Kunar very well. I'm actually recording this at almost 2 a.m. I went to bed at 8. Slept good. Slept real good. I have to go to work at 8 o'clock today. Um, but I feel refreshed. After I make a little video, play some EverQuest, get level 30. I'm going to go back to bed and take another nap. So I was thinking to myself, over the last month of making videos, I think the stress and the hecticness of my job um, came through my videos and my how I played the game. Just more stress, more pressed for time impatient and I'm on this really good community medicine block right now and it's not too stressful I'm enjoying it so we have mend active and ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and use it now give myself this is a this is the one that this is a strong one here so I'm going to keep trying to intimidate him. If I manage to pull off intimidation, I'll run behind him. See if I can hit him in the back a few times. It's not reliable. But this guy, is just he keeps coming back. Now he's winning. I'm going to lose here. I'm going to lose bad here. So I think these have a different level range. This is one of the stronger versions. So if I can't get intimidation off, I'm just going to feign death. I'm making a good comeback here. Alright, let's try and intimidate one more time. Come on, baby. Pull it off. There we go. F Fury Prox. Coming in clutch. Alright, we're at 35% life. Ah, nice. We got him running. Just what I needed. 
At this point, you can just do Intimidation just to raise a skill if it's not maxed out yet. There we go. Good. And I've been raising my Bind Wound. So let's just go ahead and throw some bandages on me. Bind Wound is at 95 skill. If you watch my health, it goes from 247 to... 275. Not bad. A couple more of those. When Mind is active, we'll be ready to fight again or at 76% experience. Should take about half an hour to finish this level. Maybe a little longer than that. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I closed the... <laughs> I thought I accidentally exited out of the recording software. I was about to get mad. Alright, see you guys when I'm ready to fight again. Alright, let's get into the fight. Some guy just ran by and gave me a heal and a spirit of wolf. Really cool dude. Thank you, Cyric, for the heal and the spirit of wolf. Some music going. Really been digging this music, background music. It's starting to feel like fall, isn't it? I don't know where you are. We don't quite get four seasons in Texas. But if you're living in the Rockies or the Appalachian Mountains or Adirondacks, the Poconos, I don't know all the mountain areas in this United States, but you're probably seeing a lot of changes in the or maybe you maybe you aren't yet. Are you seeing changes in the leaves? It's always cool when you see like the leaves turning yellow and brown and red. Before they all fall off the trees. I always liked it whenever the trees had all the colors in them but then once the leaves fall off for winter I didn't like that because you can see right through the forest there's no like seclusion left unless you were in an area with a lot of pines what do they call those evergreens or something huh I see someone's out here maybe it was Cyric Cyric was the same level as me there's plenty out here for both of us I'm ready to get in another fight, so... Uh, green guy? I mean, we can fight green guys. I have no problem fighting green giants. Ho ho ho, green giant. I used to hate the vegetables. The green giant vegetable cans. See, vegetables when I was a kid came in cans. They didn't have frozen steamer bags, which are so much better. We, we ate the vegetables out of a can. And if you were in my household, we didn't just eat them out of a can. It was generic brand. In my days, in my days, generic brands weren't as good as the name brands. All right, let's see what Cyric said. He said, if you want to get off this continent, me can help with that. <laughs> Do we want to get off the continent? No, we don't. Let's tell him. Thank you for that offer. I am so close to level 30, and then I have to be close to the trainer in Cabalus to get flying kick then I will probably head to the old world and then we'll give him a smiley face so thank you Cyric that was very kind I don't know if he watches these videos or not but he was pretty helpful I changed my button sets. 
Okay, I've been chatting with Cyric. Uh, he offered to take me to Butcher Block, and then I said, you know what? I've been playing so many different characters, I forgot. I'm solo self-found. And that's sort of against the rules, so... <laughs> I have to find my own way, but I don't think it's too wrong to grab a bind. I mean, it's just a matter of saving time, you know, we're adults now, we have a little limited time, so to grab a bind before I run over to Mistmore would be appropriate. Oops, let's close this chat. Cyric, it's a really cool guy. I told him I'm not ready to go because, you know, we're going to be level 30 soon and I have to be close to the trainer. The goal of this video is to get to level 30. I don't know if it's going to happen. It's just... I underestimate how much you have to do to get a level here. So let's see. 76%. If uh, fought, fought only blues for the remainder of this level, it would take 2% per kill. So that would be... Let's see. We need 24%. So that would be 12. We have to fight 12 more blue fights. It's sync. Hmm, 12. It takes about, what, two minutes per fight? Not including downtime. If you include downtime, you might want to add about four minutes in between fights. So every six minutes, you can fight one. Six times 12, oh yeah, it would take at least an hour. That's a rough estimate. Got a message from Cyric. Let's see what he wants. Let's see what he's saying. All right, we got words of motion. Cool. Let's see what Eric says. Uh, I get it. So self found, but asking people for help is a thing that happened back in the day too. Well, I'll warp out of here then. All right. Yeah, we put the strict rules on, you know, because honestly, the game at this stage, it can get too easy. And and even in then, it's not too easy, but I'm just saying, people can, you can get like buffs to, you can get power leveled, you can get uh, in-game gear at low levels, and you can get yourself a fungi tunic. Thanks, Cyric. He's a cool guy. I wonder if he watches the videos. I don't know. If he does, big shout out to Cyric. Thanks for the heals. Thanks for the offers. Uh, just trying to make life easier. Night, night. <laughs> I can't even type. Oh, man. I'm getting beat here. Throw in a mend. Give myself the edge. So that's really what gives you the edge as a monk is that mend ability. XR regen is pretty nice, but that's not going to help you in a fight too much. It increases downtime, but then you take a hit in the experience. So it kind of balances out. Reduces downtime, increases the amount of kills you need. I think for all the hate you get as an XR, you probably shouldn't get that penalty. But I think their justification is that you can fight in areas of the game where you're not kill on sight. And in fact, in these areas, you have the advantages because there's Ixars everywhere. So, and these areas have Kunark is a very good place. Plenty here to do. You can level completely in Kunark all the way to max level. I like to jump between continents. I think everybody does. Problem with this game is everybody min maxes. And I've done it myself too, but I attempt to find other areas to level in. Little niche areas of the game that most people don't use. But for the same reasons everybody uses the same locations, some areas are just bad for leveling. Giant Fort is not one of them. That's why you always see people out here. Mistmore is a great place. Great place to level. Fun, exciting. Trains is the only issue, but just part of it, you just head to the zone line. 
unrest is always a popular area. Some of the lesser popular areas, I think because they're so confined, would be permafrost. The hallways are just so narrow. Oh, let's throw on a bandage while I'm yakking. Permafrost has very narrow hallways. It's hard to find a place to sit and pull to. Uh, let's see what else place. And it's also it's just so secluded. It's at the edge of the map. Uh, other areas that are less popular in Agena because, again, it's such tight quarters. It's hard to find a location to sit. Um... One of the popular areas would be High Keep in the basement for goblins. I think because you're so close to the banker, it's just a very convenient, fast spawn. And you can just bank right there. It's pretty good. You don't zone out, but you can run out to the guards. Uh, other popular areas of the game. I mean, Crush Bone. Crush Bone is, I think, it's a very open kind of like an arena-like dungeon. Everything is in the center. Crush Bone's always popular. I think it's most people's initial dungeon. First experience. Graduate fighting the trash mobs and then you go to Crush Bone. Okay, we're 80% experienced this level. I have to rest up. I'm gonna go poke my head in the fridge or something. All right, I'm back. That was a nice break. And it's always nice to come back with full life and a mend active and ready to go. So let's see if we can pull just one. Probably not. Come here, buddy. I have my finger hovering right above Fang Death. Oh yeah. Oh man, I should have stood up and I messed it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, I totally ruined it. Totally ruined it. Now there's three there. All right, now I'm going to feign death here. If I can separate them, I can. I will. That was terrible. That was newbie. All right, that guy. Yeah, come here. Damn, I'm still going to pull two of them. <laughs> I'm just doing it terrible, terrible. Come both. Both of ye come... Over here. Fang death. Yeah. Oh man. If one of them leaves and the other stays, but it seems like the second time they both leave at the same rate. You got one shot, one opportunity. Okay. See how one of them's leaving? Ah, oh, see, they're too close together once again. Ah! This is not going right. And I'm taking a massive beating. I'm losing all my health. Damn. Alright, this is... I'm showing you guys how not to do it. Forget about those two guys. Let's get this single... Single pull. Where'd he go? There was another guy. Alright. Oh, there's all... T <laughs> Three stooges. Alright. Forget that. I messed it all up. Look at this guy. He's blue. Wait till he comes near me. Mm. Yeah, he's just gonna separate himself from the group. Here we go. Come here. He went right to the wall. Frustrating. All right, I wasted so much time. Can't do anything right. Once again. Drag them away from the rest because you know it's so easy to get ads here. You don't want ads. Giant, giant. I can't see. Trees blocking my view. All right. 
Hmm. At this rate, it's going to take forever to level. Alright, it's at 2.25 a.m. I don't have insomnia. I napped pretty well. I was talking to my friend in England. I have a friend in England, and of course they're six hours ahead in time zone. So, I woke up, saw, should keep my phone near my bed, but I used my phone as my alarm clock. I saw a message, and I was chatting for a while, completely awake. Then they went to work. I got on EverQuest. So, oh yeah, I was going to mention this. I bought, I was going to try to buy a stand for my mic so I can play in a more comfortable reclined position on my desk and the microphone will be closer to me. So that should be here tomorrow. Actually, it'll be here, yes, yeah, Saturday. It'll be here tomorrow. And I'll have a better audio set up, hopefully. Let's see how it works. I don't, I'm not sitting at a traditional desk. It's There is a... Um, there's three walls surrounding me. That's why you always hear echo, probably, or some reverb. And... I'm on like a marble area of, I don't know what this was for, but I turned it into a desk. Save space. And the mic stand kind of clips to the edge of the desk. I don't know if it's going to work out right, but I bought it without researching too much. One thing I've been thinking about is I really need to improve the audio. I listened back to some of my videos and it's like, oh, the audio could use a little work. When I was first making YouTube videos, a lot of people complained that they, my mic was too low. All right, hold on. Hit mend. There we go. This guy's, this guy's hitting hard. Oh, I better start hitting Intimidation, just a Fleeting Fury product. Exactly what I needed. The thing needs to stay procked at all times. Oh my gosh, he's coming back. He's coming back strong. So I've got a slight lead on him, only because I had Mend. Oh no, let's hit Intimidation. It never works when I need it. But if it works, I'll stand here and throw a few bandages on while he's running around, confused. Damn, I'm down at 30, 30%. All right, we did it. That's always the best scenario is when he decides to run away. All right, 80%, whoa, 82. I forgot I killed another guy, 82%. Hour up to 84. All right, nothing amazing has dropped yet. I got the hammer flattening, but I wouldn't call that amazing. And bandage up, do it again. That's really what EverQuest is. is it's the love of the grind. I think you meet a lot of people. Um, I don't know what it is about EverQuest. It's hard to pinpoint why it's so good. Why I enjoy it year after year? I can't really say. If people ask why you like this game, I mean, some of the things you love are. The game's not. It, there's so many inconveniences in this game, and I don't think they're intentionally put there. But they get so many things right, I think, by accident. So, a lot of people are excited about the new game, Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen. I'm not sure I am. I mean, 
do you guys actually want another game to play? I mean, as long as you're having fun on EverQuest, do you really want another game? I think even if it's good, people would come back to this game. I mean, this game gives me everything I want. So if another game is just as good, I'd probably play that game and this game. I just don't see myself quitting this anytime soon. So much content, even after years of playing that I've never experienced. So many dungeons I've never been to. For me personally, the highest place I got was like City of Mist in Carnor's Castle. Level 50 areas. You know what? When I first played this game in the early days, without intending it to be this way, I was always solo self-found. Always. I never I never went to East Common Tunnels, bought stuff. Uh, I was always afraid of getting scammed or conned or in the process of like looking up how much things were this was like dial-up days, so there's like maybe one or two good websites to look up stuff for EverQuest. And I felt like I didn't want, I didn't trust people, especially in MMOs. I feel like in the early days of MMOs, griefing was rampant. I don't know why. Games like EverQuest were notorious for griefing. It was glorified too. Especially in UO, griefing was glorified. I look at it differently these days. Alright. You always see griefing in games that involve player versus player. Uh, if you've ever been to a Call of Duty lobby, you probably know what I'm talking about. All of the chatter between matches, it's very toxic. Emotions run high. People full of testosterone. Lots of frustration. And they vent it out in player versus player games. I never enjoyed after the age of 25, I never enjoyed PvP style games. I did play Call of Duty when I was in the army. And uh, I never excelled in it. It was just so frustrating at times. I tried to get good at it. I realized that I'm just an average person. And when it comes to reflexes and hand-eye coordination, perhaps I'm even below average. I could practice and get better, <clears throat> but I don't think I ever had the raw talent for it. And I think that's what it takes. Everyone's got like a certain level of talent and, and skills like that. I never had the talent to excel in it. So no matter how much effort and practice I put in it, I was only going to get so good. And you have to accept that or you just need to like move on find something that's you know if you're a competitive person then find a different type of competition ooh that volume is loud I'm not a competitive person anymore oh no look at this my life is low all right. I really think I couldn't fight. I couldn't win half of these battles without mend. We're getting so close to level 30, I can taste it.
You guys can see the damage. 33 damage on my tail rake. It's not bad. But you know it gets so much better when I get flying kick. I see giants. I see a giant on the loose. Let's get him. Gotta love double attack. Double attack and dual wield is such an awesome combo. Now you pair that with fast swing weapons low delay weapons and you can see all the damage flying on the combat log I love to see that I love it when you do a cluster of four hits you hit with each hand and then you double attack with each hand so it's one two three four and then you throw in a tell rake and it's five hits back to back to back to back it looks so cool It's what I like to see. The beauty of playing a monk. I remember making a human monk before XRs came out. And I was reading in I was reading about monks before I picked the class. Inside every quest they used to have like a little descriptor of it. And it said uh, they could use their fists and and uh, it's like you can fight without even needing armor. So I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And then I picked a monk. And I remember taking my monk out to Everfrost Peaks. And uh, I saw some blue woolly mammoths. And I thought, okay, so let's try some of these mammoth calves. They're the mammoth calves. And I couldn't beat a mammoth calf. It was blue, and I thought, man, this monk is a piece of junk. And I quit. I quit playing monk. And I think that's probably when I started rolling a bard. I thought, monk is garbage. You can't fight things without weapons and gear. What a load of crap. Here I am, 22, 23, 24 years later, playing Monk again, using my fists. All right, let's get this guy. Before the other, before his friend spawns. Come on. All right, we got to hit on him. Oh, man. He punched me for 51 damage. All right, we're gonna fight him right out here. Yes, men just became active. I need that. You get a good sense for when it's about to refresh. I wanna play my shaman. I just get like this feeling like, oh, Tainted Breath is about to run out. And I'll start to recast it. And then before the spell lands, Tainted Breath runs out. And it's like, it's like a, my internal clock is in sync with the game. <laughs> Something like that. I just get this feeling. All right. So you can just hit him from behind a couple times. What I usually do if I, well, if I, if I uh, intimidated him and I'm below 50% life, I'll just start throwing on a few bandages while he's running around. Something like that. This 
doesn't make a huge difference, but uh, what you can do, I used to try to like, if there's two of them, intimidate one, then when he runs away, feign death, stand back up and fight the other without having two of them on me. That's before I learned about just, you know, the feign death separation pooling. I was like, if I can just intimidate one, get him to run away, feign death, stand up, and then I only have to fight one of them. All right, 87%, let's get a big, I mean, I want to get 90. I know I'm not going to pull. Oh, it took me up to 90. Look at that. It rounded up. All right, guys, 90% experience, and then I'm, well, 10% left, and I'm level 30. And that's the big level for Monk. I think that's the biggest level, and it's a hell level. So when I get back on for another episode, I'm going to finish up. I'll, I'll wrap things up here, and I won't make you watch me do all the fights, but it's going to take about five more of these giants. I'll run back to Cabalus, train up my skill, and we'll go to my hunting location that I have in mind. Thanks for watching this late night recording. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it's the same location once again. Have a great weekend. Should be the weekend when this uploads. Great week if not. See you soon guys. Bye.